So hi Army, welcome to your next reading. Hi. So as I explained before, there are five piles and you probably chosen one. If you have not, then um, yeah, just choose one of the piles and we're looking into the energies of the person you're thinking of. I want to describe a little bit their personality so you know that this reading is for you. And then I want to look if your crush, like if he knows you, if you have seen you. And yes, guys, and we want to look what kind of connection you guys have and what is the next step in your connection. Okay. So let's start with pile one. Okay, guys, so let's start with pile one. So first, how is your person like? We have the sea serpent. And isn't it quite beautiful? A lot of turquoise energy here. So their favorite color might be turquoise or blue. Um, well, a sea serpent for me, you see this this um, animal here, um, like biting their tail, you know, like being close, being infinite in itself. You know, for me, this means um, it's like your person already done all the cycle they are very complete you know when you meet them you feel like um they have ac accomplished everything in life you know <clears throat> for me also this card um a circle represents there's no beginning and no end so um for me this is a person you can spend like hours you know um you really have a good vibe with each other. That's what I'm feeling here. Like if you would meet this person in reality, there would be no beginning and no end. You would you would feel infinity, you know. Um, they make you feel infinite. I think this is a person because also the sea is all about feeling. They make you feel complete. Like it's your other half. That's what I'm feeling. I also see the... Um, it looks like an eye, you know. Like they know a lot of things and they see a lot of things. It's almost as if they... Um, like when you meet them, you feel that they are so knowledgeable, like they know a lot of things and they they see everything. So it's like they see through you also, like they know they know you inside out when you meet them for the first time, even you have not ever met before. That's what I see here. This person is also very creative, very expressive. Because in the book it says that this uh, card represents creativity, expression of creativity. And yeah, so this person is really creative. They express themselves beautifully. Um, also, I see here the color of the throat chakra, you know, that um, turquoise color. So they have a very good expression of themselves and what they want. They know what they want. So this person is like complete already when you, you, when you meet them, you know. It's like they you would you have the feeling when you meet them they don't like anything, you know, they are like a star for you. So let's see what the universe is saying. Do they know you? Have they noticed you? And I want to get clarification on that. Can I see the Four of Cups? Can you clarify this universe? The Four of Cups. Can you clarify the Four of Cups for me? <clears throat> One more. Can you clarify the Four of Cups? Okay. <laughs> I don't want that many. I just want one card. Can you clarify the Four of Cups? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was feeling. I'm feeling you are the queen of wands energy. Um, someone who's really passionate and sends them messages, like love messages. Um, you see here, she has this sun over her head. You know, so th I think this is your energy being very fiery about this connection. You know who I'm talking about, but this person um, don't know you. You know, that's all the, the whole reading is about. It's a soul connection. And I think you're very passionate about the soul connection. Um, 
You're sitting there waiting until they recognize you. That's what I see here, you know. But as you look into her eyes, her eyes are closed. So um, I think what this means is um, you're sending, if this is your energy, you're sending a lot of messages to them. And um, this is their energy. And the ma mouse for me is always um, like in Lenormand, the ma mouse means taken away. So all these cups you send to them, those love messages, they are not seen because the mouse takes them away. Okay. So what I see here is also, um, they are probably very active on night and you're very active on daylight. Look at this. She has a crown of a, like a solar crown, a, um, a sun crown on. Mm. And I also see with the sun crown that you are very much in masculine energy trying to reach this person um, because the masculine pursues masculine energy. And that's what I see here with the sun. You embody as a woman the masculine energy and you pursue this guy who embodies as the moon the feminine energy. So this, this person is receiving. They're also in their water energy. They're not pursuing. Okay. So if you send the whole time messages, it's like this mouse is, they're taking it away. They don't see it. Okay. So now we want to look at um, what your connection is. And it says presence. The energy of presence supports our ability to focus our full attention and stay in the here and now. And curiosity, the frequency of curiosity supports our intrinsic inquisitive nature, which is the necessary driving force behind any growth. Yeah, what I feel here is this is your energy. You're very curious, you know, you radiate. Look at this um, crown chakra, you know, you're very present. You radiate your energy. You're trying to reach their heart space. You know, you're like this. You're also like this. Um, like this ball, of this fireball, you know, R around and round and round. You never stop with your admiration to this person. And they are just in the presence, you know, they're not doing anything. They're just present. And look how the circle, look, isn't it the same? It almost looks the same, doesn't it, from the colors? So their circle is very small and this is yours. You're radiating the whole light. It's like you're working on this connection like crazy, you know like crazy and what we have in between let's look wow it's the love and power look at this isn't that beautiful it's like two people being united in the heart like their hands touch each other it's like yeah it's like two angels from around the world two people from around so so you guys i would say you're twin flames yes your connection is twin flames but you radiate right now a lot of light because you're more advanced than this person. But this person is already, you know, they are the sea serpent. So they are close to me. Look at how this is similar to this. They are very present. They are very um, calm. You know, they don't need to radiate that, that much light to people because they're already seen. This is also, this is someone who is in the spotlight. They are seen, you know. Yeah. So I want to get the I want to get the clarification. What is your next step? So there is a connection there, but your person's more in the presence while you're um you're trying to um get their attention. That's what I'm seeing. You're trying to get their attention and they are more in the present state and being okay what they in. So no, they've not they don't notice you. They know of this twin film connection, though. They know there is someone out there. Let me see what happens next in this journey here. Oh, see, the knowledge is coming. That's very interesting. The truth is coming. Look at this. The sword of truth. Wow. See here the sun. It's like they finally see, yeah. It's like the universe is sending them downloads. You see this here? So they finally see. Yes. Very interesting. So this person hasn't seen you yet. Not yet. But they will. 
they will notice you. That's the next step in this journey. Because it says love and power. You two are two powerful beings. Look at this. Look at this um, lightning. It's like when you touch each other's hands, it's like a lightning going through your bodies. It's like your connection, um, your connection heals. You know, this is like a round. That's what they are already. But your connection together, your connection heals. That's very nice. Very beautiful. I really love pile one. Very beautiful. Okay, so you know what's going on. Okay, guys, that's all what I'm having. Bye. So, hi, guys. Welcome to your reading. So, this is your reading if you chose the golden stars. Golden stars. Yay. So, <clears throat> this is your energies from the person in you. This is um, their energy. This is if the person has noticed you. We'll see. And this is their energy. So let's see. First, I want to talk about your their energy so you know if this could apply to your crush or your situation. So, oh my gosh, who we have here? A little cookie, right? We have the rabbit here. Rabbit is an earth sign for me. And you know, in this tarot spread, like not tarot, in this oracle spread here, the rabbit means <coughs> like, um, like this person is always... Um, <coughs> Being afraid of how the future turns out, you know, they always want to give their best also in the future, you know, so they're very afraid that the future is not what it seems for them. So it reminded me a little bit of Cook, but not at all, not much, you know, because we know Cook is not scared. Well, he wants to give his best and he wants that his future looks good too. But sometimes he also saying, well, I don't know about the future, you know, and this reminded me all also of this quote, you know, in this book. Now what I see rabbit very hard working, very um yeah, very uh, how do you say? <clears throat> the rabbit is for me someone who's very hard working, someone who's always trying to be everywhere, you know. <laughs> there and there and there like talking to people all the time. But also he needs his quiet time. If if the rabbit doesn't have his quiet time, um it's like more like an introvert, you know. He likes to talk with people, but he also needs his quiet time for himself. Otherwise, he cannot recharge his batteries, okay? So, that's your person. Has he noticed you? Wow, what's this? <clears throat> wow. That's very interesting. Let's see what this is all about. What is this all about, universe? <clears throat> this flower. <clears throat> oh my gosh, we have the phoenix. The phoenix was in um, one of the readings here too. <clears throat> well, the Eight of Swords says no, actually. But here... It says, like, it needs to fruition. You know what I see here? I see a, um, something is growing. So whatever you're doing, I think the energy is growing to, re oh, to reach out. See that? That branch is reaching out. It's like growing, 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 and one day it reaches the rabbit. Yeah. That's why it will um, rise from the ashes. Yeah. Right now, <clears throat> he hasn't noticed you. But it's growing, so keep you doing what you're doing. I think that's what it is all about. The ph phoenix also means, um, you know, <clears throat> once he notices you, you will rise like a phoenix. You know, your energy will rise so much. And keep it, it, it's growing. That's what I see. It is growing. Yeah, it is growing, guys. <clears throat> so what's the energy here? Oh my gosh! I read first K KO. Oh my gosh, that's like the. That's like the ending. That's very beautiful. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's a rainbow. This is a rainbow color Taurus. <clears throat> In the water lilies, which are intended to symbolize our potential for enlightenment, 
surround and are contained within this rainbow colored Taurus. Let this card signify our relationship to spirit in the life flow of the universe. Relax and follow your breath. Slowly allow yourself to enter this image. Use it as a device for meditation and a place from which you access the full spectrum of inner guidance. Yeah. <clears throat> this means for me that this is all divinely guided, I feel. So um, this for me means the universe is watching over this and your energy and your crush energy is growing. And someday you guys reach each other. You know what I mean? It's like... Um, it's in the divine time, timing and this is like a cycle, like a wheel of fortunes, something like this. So one day it will happen, but the universe decides when this will be, okay? <clears throat> so let me see your energies. Oh, we have the second chakra. This is all about confidence. So I think that's your energy. The energy of the sacred chakra helps us to navigate our lives through our emotions and supports our ability to enjoy the sensual world. Yeah. <clears throat> That's also what the rabbit means. Very sexual energy also, right? I feel it with the rabbit. Oh my gosh, tenderness. The energy of tenderness activates our capacity to open our hearts and approach the world and each other with gentleness and care. <clears throat> what I feel here is that you need to be in this second chakra, be confident, you know, keep doing what you're doing, don't give up, you know, it's, uh, you know, you know, it's divine timing, it will happen eventually that's what i think and <clears throat> because i see the energy of the rabbit being open look at this his energy is very open <clears throat> the heart chakra is open he's very tender loving energy so whenever the universe tells you you're ready he will receive that that's what i feel <clears throat> yes wow it's really beautiful that pile i really love the golden stars it's like saying basically saying keep doing what you're doing they haven't noticed you yet but it's divine timing and they're open. So whenever you get the goal, so don't lose hope and always be, <clears throat> be passionate. Okay. Because you see the orange and the fire, be passionate about your little rabbit. Okay. So that's all what I'm having. Bye guys. Bye. 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 So hi guys, this is your reading. If you have the golden hearts, isn't it cute? So those are your energies with your person. This is their energy and the universe energy. We will see what this is all about. This is have you, have they seen you and this is their energy. <clears throat> so let's explore, explore army. So let me tell you first something about their energy. Oh, wow. They are the snake. We had a similar animal today too. The snake is for me also an animal that has no ending and no beginning. It's like a complete healing cycle. I feel the snake being an earth energy. So your person could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <clears throat> so um, what I also feel here with all those rainbow colors in between, it's like connection. So this person really wants to be connected. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it's like they want to feel, I think this feel, this person wants to be connected with all kinds of people. They are like an extrovert personality. I feel an extrovert, someone who wants to be connected to people. Um, who They are very colorful, like they have so, so many different facets and um, <clears throat> very creative personality, very charismatic. I think they are born leader, you know, that's what I see in the snake, snakes, um, the snakes. Um, I also see that a snake, um, because there are so many different dots here, they, they might love to do different things, you know. Yeah, and I feel they also, um, like, they need time for healing, but the snake is more an action, you know, a figure for me, an action animal. And they go on winding roads, you know, they love to go on paths no one traveled before. So this is like an adventurer personality for me. Okay, so maybe um, now you know if this is your person or not. So have they noticed you? Oh my gosh, no. Look at this. It's like very... Th <laughs> what is this? Look at this. I mean, I don't need clarification for this because this is like... um, Yeah, that's like the universe saying no. There is 
like a rainforest, like a forest, like a thorn forest, right? Why is this universe? Why is the way blocked? That's like the way to them is blocked. Maybe because they heal. Why is the... Oh, wow. That was flying out. Oh, my gosh. It's divinely guided. <clears throat> you could be their twin. You see, like, two personalities moved, molded into one. And um, the universe has to work on that. It's called art. You see this? Wow. So this person either has to do their art of healing, you know, or you also have to do. I think both of you have to work on different tasks. And when you're ready, when the universe is ready, they bring you together. I see a, um, a lion. So it could be your person could be a Leo. But I think I see more earth energy, but I also see air and fire here. And water. It's like all the elements are here. And they have to be mixed up. So right now it's blocked. But it's blocked by the universe. Because both of you have to work on your own time. Oh my gosh. 5-5. <clears throat> five, five. That's like this donut thingy. This is like the snake. Yeah, I think one of you is more advanced than the others. And the other one has to um, level up. Taurus. I also feel like Taurus. When I read Taurus, <clears throat> Taurus, I feel like Taurus meaning, you know, like Taurus, an earth sign. <laughs> so your person could be a Taurus too. But let's see what this Taurus is all about. I want to look it up. Magnetic energy. This card connects you to the energy field of the earth and your heart connection. You may be feeling disconnected and alone. You may need a boost of unconditional love to aid in overcoming a difficult situation. Perhaps you simply could use a dose of grounding in the moment. See, I told you, this is like one of them has to level up. One of you has to need more healing. And that's why it's blocked right now. Um, the art is also about the universe. That's my angel card. Also the angels working on that behind the scenes. But it's like the, <clears throat> you see this, it's too different. The two circles are too different. One is big and shiny and one is like small and like, like small. <laughs> they have to be the same size to meet, okay? So let's see both of your energies. Wow, well, see, I told you. Balance, look at those cards, like the same colors. The frequency of balance supports our ability to find harmony with all aspects of our three dimension and multidimensional layers of reality. This is not balanced out yet. And we have fifth chakra. The energy of the throat chakra supports our ability to communicate. That's why there is no communication because there is no balance. That's what I'm seeing here. I feel if you're balancing out the situation, if you guys are balanced, the, the um, what do you have? Little colored hearts. Yeah. If your connection balances out, then you will get the communication because this is all about communication. Wow. That's amazing, guys, isn't it? I'm always stunned. I'm always stunned. Let's ask how you can balance it out because I think it, you need to balance it out. I think your person is healing. Can I see how to balance that out? How to balance it? Wow. It's like, oh my gosh, the universe. Look at this. It's like battling with a snake. <laughs> <clears throat> what does that mean? Should we have sex with a snake? I'm, I'm, I'm for it. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I'm here for that, right, guys? <laughs> I think many of you, of you, have noticed this energy, and you're like, now, oh, me too, me too. <laughs> I'm up for banging ba ba <laughs> snake. <laughs> I'm up for balancing out with a snake. Man, I see this like a... Look at this. Isn't it more like an eye? So like they notice you. You see this again? They see you. Right now there is a snake in front of their eyes. They cannot see you. And you're naked. And we are naked. <laughs> so... <clears throat> As long as there is no balance and no healing, like there needs to be more healing in this connection, okay? And then this will be opening up. It's interesting, right, guys? 
Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is also the card for ending the soul journey. It's like at the end of the soul contract. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this pile is cool, right? We all love this pile. So, I'm done with that now. And, um, yeah, guys, I love you. Take care of yourself. Stay healthy. Subscribe to my channel. And I say bye, guys. Too. Let's move on to your reading. Um, <clears throat> so, let's see if you chose the colored little stars, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Colored stars. I don't know which pile you are. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> when I cut it, I put it in the right order. But I think I have it mixed up on my table right now. <laughs> so, guys, how do you like the stars? So beautiful. So beautiful. <clears throat> okay, guys. So, let's see <clears throat> your connection. First, I want to talk about the person. Then we want to see if they have noticed you. want to clarify that. Then we look at your connection. What this connection actually is. And what comes next. Okay, guys. So let's do this. This is the energy of your person. Oh, wow. It's, it's called, it's called Cassell. <clears throat> That's an earth, earth energy. So your person could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, <clears throat> I see here the sun, I see the sun going down. So what I think your person has a strong belief that every new day brings a new opportunity, you know, so they are ver very earthly bound. Um, that means they are down to earth, down to earth personality. Um, and they're very positive, very, um, yeah, I feel a very, very optimistic personality, you know, very optimistic. Yeah, I think this person lives very much in the present. They have a very present energy. I don't feel fire, guys. Don't get me wrong. I don't feel fire in this picture. It is, um, it isn't fire sign because I see here the fire um, symbol but for me um, no the universe shows me earth sign and um, they're very beautiful and very elegant this person and I see that they are um, you know gazelles they are like haunted by other creatures <laughs> other animals you know um, so what I see is that this person is striving always striving for more that's why I see earth energy you know I see them striving for more um, being very disciplined um, and when they can, you know, they enjoy the beauty. But gazelles, I don't see this gazelle sitting down and enjoying it. I see this gazelle still running towards their goals, you know, towards a new sun. That's what I see, yeah, always running, always chasing their dreams. Yeah, that's what I see, yeah very raising personality okay so if this is fitting this is your person so have they noticed you oh what is this <clears throat> well we have the son of swords oh, this is the page of swords so i want to clarify that but i feel so i feel because they all they're very wise and the sword yeah, I would say, can you clarify this um, Son of Swords for me? Yeah. <clears throat> I always feel like attacking. Do you feel this too here? Maybe they were attacked by what you were saying. I don't know. I feel like they feel attacked. I mean, it's a gazelle. They always run. They probably always feel a little bit chased. So they feel chased from you. That's what I feel here. It's because <laughs> this is like they're fighting, you know. And um, hmm. 
that's very interesting i feel like they're running away from you i feel like they want to cut out this waiting period so i don't know what this connection is about but i see yes they noticed you and they feel um chased by you <laughs> maybe your energy is very chasing you know maybe you feel them as your divine masculine you're chasing you want to be together with them but they feel chased by you they want to cut out this waiting from you <clears throat> what is this connection all about heart chakra wow the energy of the heart chakra supports our inner guidance system which is governed by our heart and the capacity of love deeply they opened your heart chakra this person you're very that's why they feel chased <laughs> look at this <laughs> i told you the energy of freedom supports our sense of limitless possibility and potential boundless expression and bold explorations that's what i feel i feel this person has seen your posts or whatever um they know you're chasing them and they don't want this. I feel like they don't want to be chased because they are chased by life itself already. So they need a person who draws their energy back, you know, who's stable in themselves. And what I feel here is that, um, yes, they've seen you. And yes, they noticed you, your crush, whoever this is, they noticed you. Yes. But they feel chased. They feel, they f they feel um, chased by your energy. So for you, I think this person opened your heart chakra, but um, it's not like you opened your heart chakra and then you can chase them and run after them. That's what you think. But no, um, you need to relax and be calm about this relationship because they need freedom. They need the freedom of, of um, yeah, what is this? I feel wings here. Look at this. I feel they need the freedom. Yeah. You need to draw back your energy. Whoever this crush is um, you're asking about, you need to draw back your energy and be more relaxed, more calm. Don't chase them too much. <clears throat> we have the heptagon. Yeah, you see? <clears throat> this is like the two circles. This is your energies being into each other. This is very interesting. You see like how this alluring, it's almost like drawing into an energy. Like, you know what I mean? It's like almost your energy almost pulls them in. This is what they feel. They feel... They want to get out of this pole. Oh my gosh, it's a heptagon. That means a seventh circle. Oh my gosh, and there's a star in the middle. You see that? This is a star. This is one of our boys you're asking me about. This is one of our boys. Wow. There's a star in the middle and this is se seven, seven, um, seven corners. Oh my gosh, I want to tell you something. What's written in the book about it? It says, Seven weaves its way th through mythology as Athena used the seven sided symbol to weave her magical exploits. Sound and music are intimately connected to sacred geometry and the number seven. And through the harmonies created by music, we are able to com connect with the music of the spheres. This card sees that you are looking for harmony. In the cycles of your life, each action you take creates harmony or discord. Each decision adds to the music you create and the joy and growth you experience. Finding harmony. <clears throat> See, that's what you need to do. You need to um, balance, stabilize the energy. Because right now it's like you're chasing them and they run away. And I think it's one of our boys. So they won't know. Well, they saw you. They saw your post. I don't know what if they answered you on Weavers, but um, they came across your um, your post and they thought, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys." It's like they say, "Oh my gosh, this girl, she really loves me." Now I must run. <laughs> yeah, how can you come into balance? How can you balance this energy out? I want to ask. 
Oh, wow. Just throwing the gazelle away. Oh, wow. Look at this. Creativity, guys. Look at this. It goes up. You need to express your love to them through creativity, not through chasing and writing them love letters all day. You know what I mean? You need to express it with creativity. So <clears throat> draw them or do something creative so that they don't feel chased. Because they feel chased by you. Like their energy feels chased. So um, they won't come back to you otherwise, you know. This has to be in harmony. But it's very interesting that they've seen you already. That's very cool though. Really cool. So um, yeah, I hope this could help someone <laughs> of my army. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So that's all what I'm having for pile colored stars. As we said, there's a star in the middle. Okay. Bye guys. Hi guys. Welcome to your reading. This is pile purple pink stars. So we'll see what's going on with your pile. This is what your energies are to each other. This is the, the connection. This is have they seen you. This is their energy. So I want to look first. I want to look at who they are. I want to look at their energy. And then, um, yeah, we're going to see what's going on here. <clears throat> oh, wow. A phoenix. So this person is all about transformation. They've transformed like... Um, from the bottom up you don't recognize them anymore it's like a whole different person the phoenix is like no matter how hard people um judge them or whatever they always come up like a phoenix from the ashes you know so what was once lost they rose they rose from all the hardships you know <clears throat> i want to put this here is this is this scene though Yeah, so they rose from all the hardships. This person um, really went through a lot in their life and um, like a phoenix from the ashes, you know, they came from nothing and now they have everything and everyone says, wow, they rose like a phoenix, you know, they, um, yeah, whoever crashed them down, they come back all the time. So this is the personality, you know, the main trait. So have they noticed you? <clears throat> hmm. that's interesting the eight of pentacles is step by step you know they always it's like always a little bit so i want to see where are you on this ladder i mean here they notice you here it's down there let's get a number what is this eight of pentacles about oh no it's the seven of pentacles i thought it's the eight it's the seven so this is waiting but let's see what is the seven <clears throat> number two okay so they just draw me into number two here this is actually number 12 the hanged man but um this came out and this is number two so <clears throat> this means you must wait and climb up the ladder they haven't noticed you yet but keep doing what you're doing you, you will climb up the stairs and the hanged man is also they don't know they have to change perspective, um, you know, so they might notice you, but you have to keep doing what you're doing. So what you're doing is good, but it needs some time. So what are your energies? We have kindness. The energy of kindness reminds us to be considerate and wise in our interaction with others and ourselves. See, that's maybe your energy and to find the root of our loves through our connection to source. Yeah, you have a very open heart chakra. Look at this. Very beautiful. I think that's your energy. Friendship. Wow. The energy of friendship supports our intrinsic desire for connection with others based on mutual affection and appreciation. Yeah. That's very interesting. We have number 22. I think the friendship is their energy and your energy is the kindness. So you're very mutual in your energies, you know you're very mutual so this could be because you're you're um vibrating on the same energy energy wise you're vibrating on the same energy 
Because look at this queen. It's like your high chakra is very open. And I think they come towards with you with friendship. That's what they might offer you when you climb up this ladder, you know? It's very interesting. And let's see what this... Oh, wow. Leonardo's Vitruvius man. Yeah, we know that one. That's the... um. That's the balance, you know, and the, um, the, this, how is it called? The seven cut? Isn't it called the, the golden cut? It's like where your body is very symmetrical. Wow, this is a very beautiful person. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's like the hangman. Oh, that means they notice you when this hangman turns upside down. You know? Also, the Leonardo man represents Teangi for me, guys. I just want to say it. This means also change, number 32. So, it might be the Teang is your bias and you're trying to get noticed by him. Okay? Because I see his energy here. I always see his energy in the golden cut. Um, so, it could be that you, you know, right now he's not seeing you because he's upside down. But he has to turn in this. Look at this. So, if you keep doing what you're doing with kindness, he will notice you. And what he can offer you is friendship. That's what I'm thinking. And he will come towards you. Maybe he answers you on Weavers or, you know. I mean, he's very active. He's like, every day he's there. I never expected this. I knew in my soul journey he would come and uh, um, advise people too. Because I know he told me. I mean, I can tell you that. He told me in my dreams, like two years ago, that... Um, He's going to counsel people with me. And I was like, hey, <laughs> I counsel children because I was a teacher. I was not a tarot reader two years ago. And I was like in my dreams, hey, <laughs> what you're telling me? We're counseling people. <laughs> I said, well, I'm counseling children, but I'm tutoring them. I'm, I'm learning, you know, I'm tutoring them in math. And he, and he was like smiling in my dreams. And he said, you will see. He always says, you will see. <laughs> you will see. And that's why I was stunned. I mean, I haven't even known that I opened up this tarot channel. And now I'm doing this. And um, I was like crazy shook when, you know, I realized I really get drawn to this um, task here to help you guys. And I love it. I really love it. I, I can't imagine my life without this channel. That's why I really love this channel. And I hope you guys spread the word and we're getting bigger, you know. And that's all what I want, you know, that we, we can help each other and we can counsel each other, you know. And I'm so thankful, but I never thought that he's like there every day too. <laughs> and it's like, you know, when you think about this, it's like, it's like crazy. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, you know. I've never thought that, but well, it's happening, you know, and it's cool. So I think what I'm doing here, this will happen too, you know. I'm not thinking I'm doing stupid stuff here or like bullshit. I'm thinking this is all true. Yes, because I know it is. I know. I believe in myself, what I'm doing here. Okay, guys. So I wish you good luck, you know, and have faith. Yeah, bye.